Hey everyone, I'm Victor Dwyer, and today I'm going to show you how agencies can use Google Data Studio to create dashboards for their clients. Let's dive right into it. So it's, we're going to be using Power My Analytics today as the connector between the data source. Today we're going to use Facebook. You can utilize any data source you want to, but today we're going to use Facebook. Facebook is going to send that data to Power My Analytics, and Power My Analytics is going to send that data over to Google Data Studio. So that's that process that's going to work. Um, you can create a free trial for the account and you'll be able to dive in. I recommend using that same Google account that you're going to utilize for everything that you're going to you use for your Google Data Studio account just to make your life easier for the long run. So once you create your account and you're in the back end, it'll look something similar to this. And you'll be able to add members, you'll be able to go through that process um, to add more agency members and things like that. You're not going to want to add clients directly to this account, just to give you a heads up. Um, this is something that we're going to go through in a, in, a couple of, in a couple minutes. So when we go to the sources right here, we're going to add the, make sure we add that particular source that we are going to want to make sure that we connect. So in this case, we're going to add a Facebook data source. So you're going to click on this and you're going to uh, pop up will happen and you're going to go through that Facebook process and you're going to log into it and then you'll have your first data source connected. And for most Facebook accounts, everything is centralized under one account, all the different ad accounts. So this is going to make your life easier. So make sure you have access to all those different ad accounts that you want added in. So once you have that done, you're going to click in the top left right here and you're going to click Google Data Studio. And from here, you're going to click on Facebook ads. And what that'll do is it'll open a new tab. And I'm going to call this FB ads. You don't want to call it just FB ad, like Facebook ads, and then that's it. You want to say FB ads and then the client name. And you can have this naming structure however you want, but I'm going to call FB ads client A in this case. So from here, I'm going to, once I have it renamed, I'm going to click on this I'm gonna go through these prompts here okay so I have these prompts filled out and I selected the the one ad account that I wanted added to create uh, out of this Facebook client dashboard and it's very important not to click this check mark because what this check mark will do it'll allow your client to edit what ad accounts that are in here so for example if you selected all the ad accounts under this this menu right here and you selected allow ad accounts to be modified or reports Technically, your, your client could have access to other clients' data, and you don't want that to possibly happen. You don't want any overlap. So that's where this comes in, where you don't have this check marked, and you only select one ad account. So the only data that can come through this data, this data source will be this particular, uh, this one client's data, and that's exactly what you want. And then you can, uh, you can allow these. This won't impact you in any way. You can um, allow these actions and these check marks. Don't worry about that. That's fine. And I'm going to make sure I have this check mark down here because this will make my life easier on that side. And because I want to use the connector that Power My Analytics gives me. So once I do that, I'm going to press connect. And then I will be good on that side. So once you get to this screen right here, you're going to be able to know that it did finish and it didn't end up connecting. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the previous tab that was open before this. And if you were wanting to scale and add multiple data sources to Google, Google Data Studio, you would just go back to the previous tab and you would click on this one right here, the Facebook ad tab, as many times as you needed. And then you would go through the exact same process and you would want to add all the data sources. I like to add all my data sources at one time to make it where this can be really scalable and make it go really fast. So I'm going to call this FB ads client B in this case. So I'm going to do FB ads client B and I'm going to go through this prompts. So I filled out the prompts here and the client A, client A said Victor Dwyer dash Dwyer Enterprise marketing account. And then FB ads client B says Victor Dwyer, Victor Dwyer. So that means it's just using my personal account, my personal ad account there. And I'm going to leave this unchecked. And then once you think that you have everything that you want filled out here, then you're going to press connect. And you're going to do this as many times as you need when it comes to the amount of clients. I would add all your data sources to your clients all at one, at one time to make your life easier. 
And once you have all your data sources added, then I would w worry about then focusing on how to create and scaling up the dashboard. And that's what we're going to go through next. So if you are wanting to utilize some type of template, use your own or start from scratch, you, it doesn't matter what you end up using as long as you have some sort of template to kind of help scale. I'm going to use the Power My Analytics template. They do a really good job on their Facebook ad dashboard. So I'm going to use their template today and kind of scale that out. You're welcome to use your own template. It's 100% up to you. A lot of agencies like to have their own. And I'm going to show this will work across all different types of accounts. So you'll be able to utilize this no problem. So we're going to pretend that this is our master template. Everything that we want in our Facebook ads dashboard, this is going to be our template that we're going to utilize today. And this is going to be something that everything we want all in one place. So I'm going to click in the top right up here and I'm going to press make a copy. So this is where a lot of people get messed up is where they go ahead and just copy report when the data source is either unknown or they'll use a generalized data source with like just Facebook ads and they won't put client names at the end. And that's where things get really messy. But that's why we have everything added in the particular way we did to make your life easier within this process. So I'm going to select my particular client account right here. So for this dashboard, I'm going to call this Facebook ads client a this is the data source that it's going to be pulling in so when i press copy report it's only going to be utilizing that data from client a and it will never pull in the data from client b as long as i don't have any crossover there so what meaning that as long as that check mark that box i never check marked that data will never cross over and this is will only be client a's data and i'll be able to press edit right here and i'll be able to say client a Facebook ads dashboard, and it will be able to pull in that data and be able to work just fine. And that's going to be the way to create client A's first dashboard. And you'll be able to share um, the actual report with them. So you'll be able to press share here and you'll be able to make it where they can view it at any time. And you can also make it where you can schedule an email delivery for that specific client. And that'll be easily done. And to go back to the previous tab, you'll be able to go back to this tab right here and where your where your template was and go back to where it says make a copy and then you would select client B right here and now we have client B selected and you'll be able to easily select that and then you'll press copy report here now and you'll be able to create all these um, all these dashboards for each specific client and you'll be able to do it really really quickly from this point on and I'll be able to press edit here and then I'll be able to press client B dashboard, Facebook ads dashboard. And then you can share it with those specific clients that are all related to client B. So this is going to be the most effective way to kind of scale out the reports, add all your data sources in one time into Google data studio. And then from there, you'll be able to create your dashboard and go from there. And I recommend having one centralized template, make sure you have everything you want edited in that template because after that point, you're going to have to edit every single client dashboard. So I highly, highly recommend making it where you edit all your dashboard and make sure the template is perfect before duplicating them all. But this is going to be the process that you would go through to add all your data sources for all your clients, make sure they're se separated, and then how to make each specific client dashboard. And you'll be able to customize it per Per particular client and share it for each client. So that's going to be the best way that agencies can use Google Data Studio to kind of help create their client specific dashboards. This is Power My Analytics. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'll be happy to help. Thanks.